Quand j'étais petit, un soir, mon frère il me ramène une cassette. J'ai vu un mec danser sur cette cassette. J'ai halluciné. Tellement que la cassette, je la regardais tous les jours. Ma mère a été obligée de me mettre des coups de savate pour me bouger de la télé. Ces images sont restées gravées dans ma tête et elles m'ont inspiré tout au long de ma carrière. Tony, what you doing, man? I was searching the DVD because, uh, you know, about the ground move, I need secret. Follow me. Come on. I never knew that was going to happen, but even in the 80s, when Sugar Pop come to New York, he say, I'm a popper from California. He meets some dancers in the street. I want to learn hip hop. And they say, go to Wiggles' house. I don't know, God made me this position. They bring him to my house. Skeeter Rabbit, same. He come to New York. I want to learn about hip hop. Okay, take him to Wiggles' house. I guess I'm a mediator. Maybe God made me the mediator for East and West. Me, Mr. Freeze, Sugar Pop, Pop Master Fable, Skeeter Rabbit, Poppy Taco, we help mediate the East and the West. I'm not Mr. Wiggles, I'm Rec, R-E-K. So I'm Rec TC5. But the leader of TC5 is scene. There's two scenes, Italian scene and black scene. Actually, black scene was first, and he's a legend. He saw me dancing, Electric Boogie, and he gave me the name Mr. Wiggles. And Mr. Wiggles is the same as Wave. So he thought I was very wavy. He have two names, scene, Mr. Wiggles, he gave me Mr. Wiggles, and it was an honor. But my funny looking face and my body and the name Mr. Wiggles, click, and it just pushed me to the top. And from TC5 is where I found out through Doze about Rocksteady, and that's how I get into Rocksteady, through TC5. Video thing is the B-Boy, B-Girls record deal. We don't have a record deal, so we can't produce a product the same way rappers could until Crazy Legs made the first video. He videotaped the practice 
of Rocksteady and he sell it. We get mad at him. He says, so make one of me and sell it too. And I'm like, really? He told me what to do and I went home, got two VHS tapes, make the first one. It went double platinum in street terms. <laughs> it sold so much that they were saying, Wiggles, somebody's selling your video in China. I'm like, what? He said, we need to get the money. I said, no, man, let them sell it. Let them do it, bro, it's okay. I was so happy. It's an honor to help something that the dancers could have and make money and make a living and feed their family while they're dancing. Donc en fait quand je suis tombé sur cette cassette en 97, j'ai vraiment beaucoup aimé euh, tous les déplacements sur les genoux qu'il faisait euh, Wiggles à l'époque et euh, ça a été vraiment une très très grosse source d'inspiration pour moi. C'était magique, franchement c'était magique. J'ai dit c'est ça que je veux faire. Bro, here, people want electric boogie. I born with electric boogie. Electric boogie. Okay, okay, balance it for the best. faire ça ce soir, j'ai essayé de réunir le maximum de personnes de toutes les générations de la ville de Montreuil et c'était super important pour moi qu'ils soient là lui soir parce que je suis né avec ce mec là j'ai rêvé avec ce mec là et je suis pas le seul à avoir rêvé avec ce mec là I've been looking for this guy all over the world now. I finally caught him cracking my safe, trying to steal my precious DVDs. And when I catch his ass, we're gonna practice. But let's tell it out, let's get the news out. I'm a, I'm a abuelo, I'm a grandfather. I have three grandchildren. I don't feel any different than I did when I was young, except for my leg, of course. But energy-wise and inspiration and creativity, I'm still creating. I still have new moves that are being circulated around the world. I don't feel any different, but again, I respect young generations so much. Maybe they don't have foundation, but they do have tons of creativity and energy and I, I feed off of this energy and it keeps me going. Always a student, never a master. Keep learning, keep building. Respect the culture, rebrand. Every year, give yourself a raise. Every year, rebrand your art. You can't keep doing the same thing forever. You have to find a way to make it adaptable to something new. 
even if you continue to do the old thing, you still have to adapt it to the new generation, so you rebrand it. I'm not a businessman, I'm just a busy man. You see me all the time on the internet and hustling and all over the world, I can't sit still. God put me in a good position and I'm gonna make the best of it. So this leads to my longevity. I was in the late 70s scene, early 80s clubs, because not all the clubs were hip hop. We were at the garage, we were at the cat club. All the clubs downtown, they bring rock steady everywhere. So we witnessed a lot of things and we were also hanging out with lofters. And many of these lofters went into house. You'll see footage of early lofters with rock steady crew. So we saw that, but the new movement and that came out of the house movement, it was amazing, a new freestyle, and we were uh, big fans of it, you know. J'ai dansé avec plein de danseurs connus, plein de pointures, mais, mais Wiggle c'est vraiment spécial dans le sens où j'ai grandi avec ce mec-là. Mes grands, ils ont grandi avec lui, et les grands de mes grands, ils ont grandi avec lui. C'est un documentaire sur l'histoire de la danse à Montreuil en passant par mon parcours. Donc c'est un documentaire que j'ai fait traduire en anglais. Donc Mr. Wiggles était présent lors de cette diffusion. Après il y avait une conférence avec les anciens de chez moi, donc Stéphanie Nataf, Tony Mascotte, Fouad Amani, etc. Il a pu aussi échanger avec tout le monde et raconter les anecdotes qu'il a sur son parcours. Le soir de la projection, c'était mon anniversaire, il m'a fait cadeau une super veste qui m'a graffé avec mon nom, Tony Slow. Et franchement, ça m'a fait super plaisir, c'est le plus beau cadeau qu'on aurait pu me faire ce jour-là, d'avoir un présent des Mr. Wiggles.